Hello, I'm John Steppens and I'm the lead developer of Tyrantagonist Games, totally a real company, and I'm making a game uh, called Pluck Hearts. And this is, I guess, a developer diary. Uh, in this episode, I'm uh, hoping to build a new feature, uh, something to do with portals. Now, I'm still experimenting with the format of these videos, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend this video maybe an hour i will see how long it is trying to program this feature i'm trying to build and the video afterwards will be the showcase so uh i think before i tried gluing them together uh anyway i have opened up an example so you can see so right now uh you can see the uh Portal. Uh, so I was distracted by the writing not being centralized. That is something. It's not important. I will get around to it. So yes, if I scan this portal, it will tell me the name of Vigo. Vigo the Sucker Pump is what I call portals, and Clay One Welcome is the name of the level. If I shoot into it, it'll load the level. So if I complete the level, I've now taken out the old tutorials. Uh, If I very quickly finish the level, because this was originally the tutorial, I'll close that as well, that should, uh, like so, you'll see, when I return, the door is closed. So yeah, that is Portal so far. There's a couple of things, you can see some errors, like for one, obviously they aren't centered. Two, you may have noticed, it showed my mouse cursor very briefly, right there. That's a mouse cursor, because it always starts off in mouse mode, and I need it to just remember what mode it's in until somebody changes it. That's a thing I'll need to fix at some point, but let's close this down. So yes, um, also, you should presumably remember where I left that and turn those tutorials off. So yes, and now it, uh, it doesn't say if it's finished. That's something I could put in that writing, isn't it? But yes. So, I was reasonably happy with that, and I'm, I'm, it's programmed in that I have a list of levels all in a uh, spreadsheet. I could just show you. I could just show you. Um, it's in scripts. So, it might even be open. So, where's scripts? My level array. So, right now, and we'll need this for later. It was already open. So, I, whenever I make a new level, I add it to the script. And then all I need to do is I need to know this number for which level I'm opening. So all the zeros. And not only will it tell me the, the writing that's on the, uh, the portal there, but it will also set the theme of the level and I suspect there'll be more stuff coming. Um, and this is me learning how to use arrays. I liked it so much that I rebuilt painstakingly uh, the heart system. So uh, this right here. Now, like, this is, if you put clay in an object, it knows, it, like, this is candy in all objects. It's not actually finished yet, but I just figured whenever I build a new element, it should all be in one place, and now it is. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Probably shouldn't be globals. Uh, I could put this in an object, and it should look, should just reference the object rather than me being lazy and putting everything in a global. But it is a global in a script, so, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So what is my plan? Well, right now, that has two states. I'm gonna, I've got a whiteboard for this, uh, which is uh, open and closed. Let's say it is either open for business or closed because you finished the level. I want to change that so it is locked, open, and closed. Or yeah, you know what? I like those words. Locked, open closed now the good news is that the difference between locked and closed is very little in terms of how that works that is to say that when it's locked and when it is closed you will scan it and it won't let you go in anymore or potentially when it's closed you might want to revisit it but that's the same as open then or at least it's very similar however visually it needs to look different i have gone on head and uh, drawn some stuff in advance because no one wants to watch a video of me drawing like 
I'm not entirely sure anyone wants to watch a video of me programming, but it is at least something that's interesting. Like, I... You know what I mean. Like, it would have... Drawing takes a while, and it's a good, relaxing thing to do. But uh, it's not necessarily a kind of thing I can guarantee I can finish. Uh, anyway. I'm going to have to start closing these. So, I have got a design ready. So there's the door. So the, uh, the way the door works right now... Uh, is that it, you know, it just puts the graphic on top. It's very simple. Uh, kind of looks like a face. With a nose there. Anyway, these are old versions of the door. We can close these down. I'm looking for something in particular. And I may need to close these down. Uh, some of these I'm going to have to keep open because they're going to be relevant. This I need to keep open. This I can close. This is Anima. Right. And the reason I was tempted to build stuff in advance before I started recording the video, but I wanted you to see the process. So this is the backup version of the door. Very important to keep backups of your drawings because if you accidentally, like, reduce the size of a drawing, it's lost. It's just lost. Now, if you are, if you're quick, you can, before the game auto-saves, because it will auto-save on top of your files, you can actually go fetch those files. But uh, I think, actually I'm not entirely sure you can. Just keep lots of backups. Uh, anyway, so right now this is the door. What I'm going to do, two things I want to do is I want to uh, uh, change that scannable panel because the doors are now going to have locks on, right? So I, I not only do I need to have the free states of, of portal, I need to have keys and I need to design locks so you know which keys go to with which locks. So, hang on, let's zoom in. So this is the last thing I drew. So you can see some examples. But now there's a heart. There's a pyramid. That's the uh, I, that's how where I draw. There's a moon. That's a star, right? I'm not again. <laughs> I'm not an, an artist. You can actually sort of see though that I've actually done shading and. I didn't for the door. So you can tell I've drawn this bit after this. Like, so this is obviously this weird snaky thing uh, is either, is, is dipping in. It's darker, right? So I should have bits of lighterness. Anyway, I will bother. We're not going to do drawing. So we have that door. We also have another example. Let's see if I put it here of one of my keys. So yeah, these are keys here. I'm not sure why I painstakingly do this. Uh, if I needed number Roman numerals, even uh, I have them. They're available. There's... Oh, yes. Here's... This is what doors will look like when they're closed. So, that's an open door. And it will have graphics, which you saw when I opened up the video. It, it does the kind of warpy re warping reality effect on the floating core. And when it's closed... The eyes turn off, You could, it's, it goes dark, and there's the kind of relief in the background there. Uh, you know, I've designed a few of those. I don't know. It just needed something there. Because you're going to be able to scan it still, so it needs to have a sort of symbol. Uh, but yes, and it, the same goes for this. The uh, lights turn... Hang on, that's not supposed to be there. So it's that. The lights turn off, and it's that dark background right there. That is a, a closed portal. It's It's off. Uh, where are my keys, though? Because I drew an example. Close that debugger. So, uh, so I had to decide, and this is all stuff I had to do before the start of the video, right? How am I going to display keys, and how am I going to display locks? And my original plan was to have keys float at the forehead. Okay, where, where is it? So if we grab one of these. In fact, there. And I just didn't look like, like I didn't like what it looked like. I won't lie to you, I thought it looked a bit penis-y, uh, and that's not, like, it was going to float up and down, but still. So what I've decided to do instead, let's find one of these keys. Uh, is... Uh, we need an example. 
So if we copy this so I can make an example of you. Make that white. Uh, this is a bad example because this is what it looks like when it's off. In fact, I need a door. Uh, the one out here. Hmm. Okay, let's grab a door. I want to show you before I do it because this is what we're working towards. Uh, yeah, we'll just, just grab one of these, John. We'll grab the heart because it's the one that's relevant. So, where are we? I'll make a couple of these. So, when it is locked, uh, it'll look like that, say. Now, you might. I, like, I'm not 100% sure about that. I may have to add some graphics around it. Something like that. Right? So it's prominent, but it's not covering up any of the detail. Uh, and the idea is that when you open the door... Let's grab another example. Like this one. It'll tell you what color that key is. Because that key... is off. Nope, that's a bit off there. Hang on. Hmm. So it won't just blip like that. Well, uh, it will fade from the off color to the on color. And then that will have the flashing stuff in the background. Uh, so, here's the process. Let's say this is level 1 and this is level 2. So level 1 has a key that can open level 2. So you, you dive into that level. Once you finish that level, that key explodes, shoots into that symbol there, opening it, and that will fade to the correct colour. Something like that. Um, I do worry that uh, I, c I don't know what the player is going to be able to see. So it will fire into this here. It will go pew like that. Burst on the door. The door will disappear. And that will fade. Uh, I might want to have the door explode or something like But we'll have a simplified version of the end result. Now, there is a slight complication. But we're going to keep those in as examples. Which is, heart doors are different from the other symbols. So, I'm going to have to build a space for testing on it. So it's good, just going to, I'm just going to build a test area. Right here, and we're going to like... Yeah. It's not going to be sophisticated or anything. But the other thing is, I kind of want to test... Ugh, John. It doesn't need to look neat at all. Like it do really doesn't need to look neat, John. Whatever. Um. Hmm. There might not be enough room. We'll see. Okay. Um. So we need to do a couple of things. Uh. What are you doing? John. We're just going to add some basic collision to this. Turn it on. So I'm going to program it so the level just lo opens up here. Uh, get this on. Cool. This is our new portal testing area. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. So I eventually want the player to save when they get here. Right? But I'm going to make it so when you save there, you actually appear there, which is 
Well, I'll do that now. Um, so if we check this bit of code, uh, this is level no zero. So we're going to look up level no equals zero. And I'm not going to do the mistake I made last time. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I need to look up checkpoint zero then. Because we're going to add a new checkpoint. Right, it's going to be checkpoint 10. So, I don't know why the checkpoints are numbers. Those numbers aren't an array or anything. They can be an array. But I don't know why I, I'm going to now start a new thing. Uh, which is, I'm going to just name the checkpoints. Uh, so, this is going to be checkpoint... Um... Give it a mean, meaningful name, John. So like, like, space isn't an issue for the file name, so... Uh, first portal. Right. So we're going to add first portal. We'll rename all of these at some point, and checkpoint zero should be... Checkpoint zero kind of works because it's uh, the start, but I will rename it at some point. Uh... Right. I'm going to copy this. So this is the important bit. We'll keep this here as a kind of reminder. So if it equals first portal, it does look nicer. Uh, they might even call it load. Load first portal? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this is stuff that I probably should have planned ahead. So we're going to load first portal. And we're in the correct room. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the coordinates to the correct place. Which, let's say, is there. Uh, this is why we have a pen on us. Three, four, uh, four, oh, one, six, five, four. I'm getting the number from down here. So, yes. Change that before four oh one six five four. Let's drink some tea. So, uh, we have our load, but you're going to get references. Load first portal, that's correct. Oops. Okay. Okay, this is why we have numbers, because it's level now. So we're going to create an enum, which is something I always should do and I can never be bothered to do. Uh, but uh, putting it in the save point makes sense. So create. Yeah, sure. Enum 
load equals or even checkpoint hang on uh level no equals so what i want is dot first portal why is it first portal shouldn't it be second portal no it's first portal what are you talking about so uh Load dot first part. I mean, that's confusing because it's just the same two words. Hmm. Okay, this is all stuff I should have figured out ahead of time. Okay, we'll make a save. We're gonna have to go back and change all these. Save. Save. I mean, that's what they are. Save. That's still load, but this is save. Right, so. Uh, Let's load. Does it need... I never remember how to do bloody names. Uh, first portal. Cool. Now... Yes, so instead of zero, which means nothing to me, it's now in words I can understand. It's load.firstportal. I'm not entirely sure those words make any sense still, but... Um, anyway. So, and again, this should all now be in an array down here because I'm having to reference loads of different files. Uh, load dot first portal global dot even like just get rid of the word save. Maybe. So yeah. So we here as well. So it could potentially all be here. Load the save. This is it up there, John? Now, the other reason it might have been a number global dot save. false is I have to reference it here right otherwise it's meaningless so right now it says a number it's set on real so if I put what was it load dot first portal is that gonna work I think it might complain because that's a. Well, I don't know what real means. I know I'm a terrible programmer. I know what boolean is. Oh 
Are we going to... If we had a... Hang on. I need to tie this up. It's loading the level though, so... It appears to have not crashed yet. I'm sort of... Uh, I, I wanted people to see the sort of less glamorous side of programming as well. Uh, which is the being a bit crap and learning. And a lot of this is organization, right? It's structure again. So I'm having to figure out, open up all the things you need, put them in a neat and tidy place, figure out what you're going to build, then build it. And that's what I'm doing. Um, so the idea is, if I press a new game right now, you can see uh, that cursor. Let's move that off the screen. We'll skip through this. This is my tutorial. Uh, you may notice I've added some extra graphics uh, like these, which I can't, I've been able to do along. Okay, so if I now level restart. Okay, that's wrong, but I mean, it puts me to the right place. Uh... What? Why would it... That's the right place, but it should be doing it for that one and not this one. This one should still... This one does level no equals zero. What have I done wrong? Right. Uh... <laughs> we are going to need these. This might be a couple of videos. I might theme them as well. Uh, so this is the, the setup, I guess. Because I'm eager to get this done. Don't need this open for the time being. Yeah, that's clearly being used. Let's find it all. That is correct. If it's true... See, I've added notes because I... But it shouldn't be true. Why would it be true? this when the player bumps into this it's gonna ask which one it is this should all be in a script if I continue it's me there so you can see I can see through the walls because I have to set wall uh, I shouldn't yeah So what should happen? Is when I do that, it should go, hey, what's this marked as? In fact, ooh, uh, you know what? I will check. This might be the first time I've had, no, it definitely isn't the first time I've had more than one save. So that one's not lit up. So if I restart the game, press continue, it should check. That's even weirder. Continue. So 
So level restart. So it shouldn't say if checkbox uh, checkpoint X because I used to have lots of these when I didn't know how to do it with just the one object. Uh, so what what should happen is this this bit of code here checks to see what that says. Okay, what does real mean? Okay, real is gonna break things. Expression? Let's put it as an expression. Uh, I might... Yeah, sure. It's not... So an integer is a number? Uh, a whole number, I believe. Uh, real can be a number with decimal places. A string is like words. A resource... I have no idea what a resource is. It's a resource. Thanks, the help button. Uh, yeah, I guess I know what a list is and a color. Sure. Uh, we'll put expression and see if that works. So yeah, I, yeah so what happens is uh, on the individual save points, so that's why it's called witness X because I used to have lots of them. Uh, I type in whatever the correct one is. Uh, and then when it runs the game, it'll ask which one it is. Is it this one? And then it will check check word will be turned into one of these so the whole point is there are two check words on this the first one is zero the second one on the level is this new code so and it will change the check word sure and then if I bump into it probably something I could do from the player's end to be honest Um, because it's constantly searching for the player. I don't know uh, what the most efficient way of doing that is. So if you bump into it, A, uh, it it turns it white. And the second thing is... Check word equals true. Check word equals true. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a weird word. Why is check word equals... They do the same thing. Okay, so yes. This bit of code shouldn't be needed. Check word equals true is doing that. And then it saves it. That's nice. Right. We'll see if that expression makes it work. This was a thing... I know I said I wasn't going to do any bug fixes. But like, I made a bug. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be multiple videos. Uh... I mean, it always was, but I really need to turn that off. It's really annoying. I updated my software, as you can tell. Um, new game. So that it doesn't crash, it's a reasonably good sign. I'm going to keep the cursor there, I'm sorry. So what I could do is I could... Uh, see where it says half show in the bottom of the screen there? You can't, because I'm hiding it. Uh... It does. Just take it from me, it does. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can't see that, which is kind of annoying. Um, now, if I, I, I... I'm worried that level restart and game restart are doing slightly different things as well. So I'm going to have to test that. So we press continue. I don't like that. Level restart. So it should be saving, and I don't know why it's not. Because it seems to be working for... 
level restart. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna put that down to expression definitely not being the correct thing. Um, so I might just have to use a number. Or... Yeah, okay, expression can't be right then. Resource? The value is a resource! Huh, that's interesting. have to be a sprite? Uh, change that back. That's really interesting. Um, I didn't know I could do that. That's something that could come in handy. Anyway, um... Or it could be that I just blanked out the bit of code that fixed it. Because the whole point is, that's the check word. It's already set as the check word. Check word equals true. We're going to do this again. We're going to put this back in. Because I changed two things at once. Terrible idea. Global dot. So the other thing I can do is make it so it doesn't have a dot in, because that might annoy it. And make it global dot level word. Let's try that out. Uh, check word equals I'm gonna go all in on this idea actually uh, level word level no dot glo no global global dot it's not how you spell global uh, so I'm gonna have to do something else here so this now comment so I'm getting like, this is, uh, the saves are from a much earlier version, so I'm clearly just seeing the inefficiencies in my old code. So yeah, check word equals global dot level no. That is correct. Check word equals true. That's the point of passing this thing and saving the game equals true. The one thing I'm going to change now, I, I don't know if resource is the correct thing. Let's put that back as expression. It's not a string, it's... I, I might just look at another thing. It's um, save first portal. I'm going to change it to find all. This is now going to be save first witness. I just want to make sure I didn't screw that up. Um, this is uh, hopefully no copyrighted music. Okay. I might have to clean my save up as well. Okay. 
And those green ones are nice because... Check word. Oh yeah, I can comment. Holy cow. So the whole point of that is I check with no one and then I check with the correct check word. Let's see if this works. So yes, to be as efficient as possible, I want to, I don't want to copy, whenever I change a word, I only want to ever change it in one place. So then I'm running down a list, it shows some inefficiencies. But that I greened out is a good sign. It means I'm, I am learning. I mean, if this works. Yes, I just spilled some tea on my face. Um, it's what the beard's for. Okay. Yes, of course. Um, uh, first witness. Is it an expression? I have no idea if it's an expression or not. And that's first portal, right? <gasps> Close that down. Wait. Have I been stupid? Oh, damn, John, what have you done? Oh, I may have been dumb. Have I been dumb? I've confused the two different terms. Review all the stuff you've done. So that's fine. Like, that has to be that anyway. Okay, the thing that's wrong is literally the latest thing, so I don't know why I went for all this. Um, where's the, yeah, the code in the thing. I've just done that wrong, haven't I? Oh god, this is a mess. Don't need this open. Don't need this open. Uh, yeah, well, it's being used. Right. I might be able to f get rid of that enum? If I can get rid of the enum, that'd be nice. If level no equals one, then the check word is that. So what I really want to do is just put the check word in? Yeah. I don't need this enum at all. Where did I put the enum? Okay, I don't need that at all. I think. Hang on. It's definitely something. Something I'm missing. So my brain is just broken. Um, check word. Oh, I just... Oh, God damn it! I just realised what I did. My brain just didn't... I don't want it referencing. This is probably why globals are bad, by the way. So what confused me... I want global to equal... Either save first portal or save first witness, right? 
I wanted to know. All I need to do is turn that on and off. That is literally all I want to do. So why did I put global there? Because... No, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, John. Okay. That needs to be save first portal. This is going to be save first witness. I don't know why I changed the order. Right. Check word equals level no. It's almost as if check word is not needed now, but whatever. Check word. I can't do global dot check word, damn it. Doesn't matter. Then we just put global dot in the uh, thing instead. Yeah, you might want to spell it correctly. Can I put globals in variables? I might just use the internet for this. Is it... What I, what I was planning to do is do global dot and then I reference a file. But the problem is that once I... It turns it purple, which means I've just created a global. And I don't want to create a global, I want to reference a file. Which is probably why I don't want them as globals. So I've created... Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly look up... Globals in... Um, game Maker. Game Maker globals in variables uh, what I want it in in variable definitions no yes I'm just looking this up. Hmm. So that's what I want to do. We'll see if it works. Um, Game Maker may have a... Uh, Um, a book, an instruction manual. Okay, I'm, I'm currently looking at that. <laughs> I should have opened it on the screen so you could actually see what I was doing. Variable definitions. No. Right, we'll figure out uh, on our own. Have I set these correctly? That's first witness. That's first witness. That's global dot first save dot. We'll see if this works. Like, because if I'm just using the wrong thing, that's all I want to know. And I'll go, I could just do the manual telling me what what I put into that. 
because usually I'm just putting variables in that. I think it should be fine, actually. I'm going to look up another thing. Oh, that's a good sign. So yeah, I was angry that I hadn't saved it because I pressed continue and it hadn't, there's no save file for that yet. So this is less of a bug and more of a thing that was working that I broke. Son. Global variable name, variable name, save file name, index not set. It isn't? Yeah, I know, because... Okay, fine. Global dot file name. This isn't even used anywhere, it's replaced. Uh, right, it's been almost an hour and I don't know if we've achieved anything yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of objects down and then the start of the next video will be... Um, actually building something. Yeah, less. Than, less than I would have liked. But honestly, getting these safe saves work is... Working is quite important. Undefined variable global... I, I, you're not using that variable! This is never used. It's changed. Oh, fine. There. Programming. Gonna annoy the hell out of me. New game. Make sure to do new game. Okay, level restart. Not a good sign. Why is this? Why does it not like numbers? So I cannot stress this enough, it was working with numbers, it just didn't like that I tried to build a new system where I described the thing, which is why I wanted enums. Let's track what it's doing. So global.save underscore first witness, right? That's not wiping it because that's why we have check word because it's going to replace that. So check word equals level no. 
not really a thing I need to do anymore, but... So what I could do is just... We'll get rid of... We'll add a middleman. So if level no equals... Um, so we're going to get rid of global again. So that's save for first witness and... We're going to use the same words. I want to check something a minute. Because like, I've got hundreds of variables in the game. Like, a lot in these objects. Um, so I just need to look at one of these and see what it uses. See that? That's a mean number right there. Working on real. No complaints from that. We'll put it on real. Because enums are numbers, John. Everything's a number, isn't it? Who gave you out of this? Variables. Those are... Those are all enums. Does everything... Anything just reference... That's an example, John. Get a more complex object. Do, does any of them just reference a thing like that? I tend, it looks like I just tend to stay away from that usually. Hmm, that's interesting. Tutorials, surely. Nope, they just use a number. The thing that would have worked had I just kept it like that. So, it doesn't seem to like me putting variables in? It doesn't like me putting variables in the variable thing. Is that what you said? Let's try the word real. You know what? Ugh. Real. We'll add a middleman, like I said I was going to do before. So, if that equals, if level no equals save first portal, check word equals global to save first portal, and the same for this. Because that's, that's just a number, right? It, uh, first witness, first witness and first portal are kind of confusing as well. Um, this is at least a line of code that I can understand. And then it's just going to say check word equals true. I could change it to that again. Add another middleman. See if it helps. My worried eyebrows are back. That's kind of permanent. What, resting worried face. Yeah, never. <sighs> Save first portal equals false. Say first witness equals false. It doesn't need to be false, it's a ruddy thing. No. <laughs> Maybe 
Maybe I do need to make it an enum? Where did I put it? Where did I put the enum? So now that's first portal. First portal. Witness. Right, now what's the current plan? So, we, 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 we know what it's called now. Um, it's load dot and then check word. If level no equals load dot what? No, it's load dot level no. Right, hopefully that'll work as a concept. Obviously it's not doing anything right there, but um If load dot level no well, yes. Equals first. Uh, it just seems really superfluous as an idea. Like I'm saying, if itself equals itself, then a thing happens, which I know is. Because what's the difference between saying that and just doing the thing I was already doing? Like, I can't put a dot in there because it doesn't seem to like it. It's not currently a number. It's going to say that's undefined, isn't it? Oh, fine, whatever. I'm going to put 15... Don't, no, don't give up. This is not hard, John. You just want a word in there so it's easy to remember. That's all I wanted as an idea. I know I could just put it back as a number and it work. But like, I just want to put a word in there. Can I not put a word in the variable definitions? Surely I can. What do we want? Let's spell it out. If that variable definition is uh, the correct word check word is the correct load right like that's and yeah you could just cut out the middleman and just say put in the correct load in there which is what I tried earlier and it didn't work This is the sort of thing where I was like, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. I'm just... Right, we're approaching an hour, and uh, I thought I'd try and look up the manual again. Real, real, like, hang on, where, where is it? Where's the witness? I'm tempted to close all this, uh, just to make it a little bit tidier, and then reopen everything as I need it. No, why did that close? Uh, <laughs> close all about this. Okay, this is being set to real. Uh, I am making, again, 
because I know this works. Uh, I... Where is it? So it's going to be load dot first portal, right? And that that functionality works like that won't break. I know that. Well, uh, I, I really need this to be open now. Uh, hopefully it'll open when I do a thing. Otherwise, it's the one thing in Maker I don't didn't close it that when it breaks it's really annoying because I just don't know how to open it. It's not in Windows. You have to do like a code or something. Oh, that's useful. Uh, anyway. So yeah, I didn't need to close that. Okay, now it's gone. It's not gone. Cool, I mean. So this is gonna be load dot first witness. This one is going to be load dot first portal. So level no. Let me start. Where's the step event? There isn't one. If a level no equals load dot first portal, okay. Delete this obviously. Um, that should all work. So, yeah, um, i somewhat regretful. I do always do this uh, that uh, I've spent quite a lot of this video just fixing a bug of my own making just because I wanted to make save games clearer. I just wanted to set up the parameters. I could have done it in advance, couldn't I? But yeah. There is one more. Assuming this works, there's one more thing I want to set up and then I'll do another video afterwards. Okay, I genuinely have no idea why that doesn't work anymore. But, we're not going to give up. So what I'm going to do now, trace, we'll put it in the step event actually. So if we'll put it here, trace. Um, let's 
So we're going to check to see if these are correct. So I'm going to put a thing called trace. Uh, uh, and I'm going to say FP load W load I'm going to get a bit of those obviously um, G to FP, isn't it? The FP? So what this is going to tell me is if the these are doing the correct thing. While it's doing that, I'm going to grab the phone. It's going to be a vitally important message. Somebody messaged it to me. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'll read that probably later. Um, is someone asking how I was? Um, so yes. So down the bottom, there's a thing called output, and unfortunately you can't see it, but I can, because I'm covering it up. Uh, so, I'll just tell you what it says. So it is saying FW load. Huh. You know what it's not saying? It's not saying. That's interesting. It was doing FP load, but it wasn't doing FPG. What? Why not? That's true. So that... Ah. Huh. You know what? There was one more middleman I got didn't get rid of. Let's see if this works. No, why did you change that? I mean, save first witnesses only. Right there. First witness. First portal. First witness, first portal tool. First portal, first witness. First portal. First witness. First portal, first witness. Ah, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. Let's press play.
So I have a feeling that check word was true before it was something else. And that's why it wasn't working. So I guess goes to show you, you can be too efficient. Uh, it turned out I was too good at programming. Ah! Interesting. Um... Oh, hang on. But what? That should be checked saying as a check word. And that check word is true because of this. Yeah. By now it's outputting the zeros. So it's saying FW load and FWG, which is a good sign. In fact, level restart. Haha! -ha! That's interesting. Level restart should now put me in there. Okay, so I fixed it. It's just that the light doesn't work and the light's the least important aspect. In fact, I could just have a new thing for that. So, because this is what the video's now suddenly become about. First of all, checkpoint X is doing nothing, right? Because they're all at checkpoint X. In fact, let's rename that to Let's see if there's any instance of this in the code first. No, in fact, it clearly isn't doing anything. I'll close it down. Whatever. Uh, so yes, we're going to rename our witness X back to witness. We are going to delete checkpoint X because it's doing nothing. This, nah. Right up equals true. Light up. Light up equals false. I'll fix that. I feel there's a better way of doing that, but if it works, it works. We'll test it out. So yeah, didn't really get anything done that I wanted done. But arguably, I've improved the load save system. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that's true. Save should be global. Um, pretty obvious global.
Where does it say check one X? Oh. Sorry. That's all they use again, there used to be lots of different objects because I didn't know how to make it work with different ones. That's the sound of me going, that's 40 minutes I've wasted, and I've recorded me being rubbish. This is why I'll, I'll have the programming showcases as separate videos. So I can just be dumb. So yeah, the light up system is the same as if I level restart. Oh, it crashed. What's referencing? Oh. Yeah, I'm being, I'm now, I'm just being sloppy on it. The other thing is it should, it should light up when it's true. You know what? I know that's gonna work. Let's do the thing I was actually going to do before I got distracted by breaking all the bloody save points. Right. Read our greeter back, thank you very much. Thought I'd need more room. Yeah, this is what I actually wanted to do. I just very quickly wanted to make a test space. We're going to need more objects because there's one object I didn't introduce, which I'm going to do now and then I'll start the next video. Uh, <laughs> maybe that'll be a slightly more interesting video. Um, Prometheus. Now, uh, it's been a while since I've done this. So the point is... Uh, we have an object called an oppressor. The oppressor sits right there. Cool. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen when I open it up. But, because hopefully I've programmed it so it just knows that interaction is going to work. That's not even been set. I'll tell you what the oppressor does, actually, um, while it's loading. The idea of the oppressor is uh, I introduce uh, when you're holding clay in this game I'm, I'm assuming you know a little bit about the game if you're watching this video uh, you can't jump and I, I thought that'd be good for okay, I'm, just, I'm not going to press continue Check word doesn't equal no one. If check word is true, image equals one. So yes, um, the idea, yeah. So so in the original game, if you're holding clay, your character wouldn't be able to jump. I realised. That's sort of introducing a complex rule quite quickly into the game. So I've decided, no, it doesn't until I've introduced the burden. And the oppressor introduces the burden. So we press new game. Oh no, I've broken it! I know that can't work! Uh, what's this? Uh... Buh? Yeah, I know what I did. I'm being sloppy. There we go. Don't be dumb, John. That should be, uh, shell should be hidden. 
with Sheldon. Don't push Sheldon there, you're going to do that for that father doesn't do anything. Uh, but yes. It doesn't help when I'm dumb. So I just put the wrong object out there. You can't... Shell is something it summons. Shouldn't be in the list of actors. It's not an actor. In fact, I should do that now. There we go. There. Uh, actors are things I can drag in. Like, you see, Regret? Regret should only have one version as well. This episode should be called Regret. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. We'll just double check the four versions of it working. There we go. Uh, and if we uh, level restart. Cool. If we game restart. Cool. And I cannot stress this enough. This is just where I was already. <laughs> we spent 50 minutes fixing a thing I already had because I wanted it to be slightly clearer. So um, one thing I do want you to see is like that. Like, uh, uh, I was going to say Doctor Who. It's more like Charlie and the Doctor Factory in that terrifying tunnel. There's a background there. It's all dum da 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 dum. Anyway, there's that there. But uh, if I level restart, there we go. And if I what? Huh? So what this does is this should be locked. In fact, it should be empty. Yes, I forgot you could. So it's functionality I added later. I first programmed this so that it had only two states. Kind of like what I'm doing with the portal right now. Right now. So originally was full or empty, right? And then I added um, empty, full, and broken. Just subtly different. So now this can be... Let's uh, <laughs> let's look at the code. What the code says. Um, it'll be in the enums. There aren't any enums. Why are there no enums? All these numbers being references and not in enums. Uh, yes, I know. Where are you? Full drain. Fill. Okay, when it is fill, yes. Hollow doesn't do anything apparently. Empty. Heartbroken. Not empty. I want it to be the before state. Empty is the bad one. I'm guessing it's null. Oh yeah, okay, so the the writing is wrong in this one. Because empty was already a thing, and I just I tried switching everything around, it just didn't work, and I was like Fine, I'll have the word, wrong words and just remember and obviously I just forgot. Um Okay, full drain fill Well it needs to fill from somewhere. You see it fills from the oppressor. Uh Uh, is it null or is it empty? I'll try null. See what happens. J and Y, hang on. Uh, 
So this is a feature null does not feature in heart volume. What is in enum? Inert? It's inert, okay. So yes, that's bad, John. Uh, each inert should be the how it ends, not how it starts. So I just want to check something a minute. Sure, Jay can do that. Just remember to undo that later, John. H. I'm trying to find the end step. Uh, draw. I'd be in draw. It's been a while since I've looked at this, which is why I'm confused, and clearly I haven't written a note, enough notes. Uh, the sound has gone, hasn't it? Why is that? Alright, so what I want is a button that does a thing, and I can't remember where I put the button. <laughs> Don't delete. Because <laughs> I'm terribly professional. Um, and I need to know this. And I need to know this before the start of the next video. What are you doing, John? I'm changing the song. Okay. I don't know where I put it. Let's see if it works. Let's just press play. Again, it's something I need to know, but... So yeah, um, the oppressor was actually the first thing I started making. No, the portal I made, I made the portal of the oppressor, and then I got... Uh, then I spent like months trying to make uh, new mounts. And I finally decided to come back and finish this all off. But it's so I there's things I've forgotten. So the idea is there we go. It shouldn't say clay heart, it should say empty, but whatever. We'll work on that. That's a fixable thing at the very least. That is zero or three. So Oh! It does work. Okay, so whenever you do a level that has a heart. Instead of unlocking a door, it will unlock the oppressor. And once it's you get enough, it's ready. And you can trigger it. Uh, you should be able to scan a thing. Cool. That didn't really work, but... Well, I can tell you it used to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the basic functionality of the oppressor off screen because it's like it should be grey right now because it's depleted and that should should work uh, and it did and it's no longer doing that and I didn't want another bug fix video uh, which is annoying. So I'm not really sure what to call this video because it became a bug fix video. But I really do want to have a video where I program a thing, so I'm just going to have this as a separate video. Uh, I might even put this video out later. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, it's not what I planned it to be, and I may have to be very clear with how I describe this. But yeah, before I start on the private video proper, I'm just going to have to fix that. And I'm, I may even, yeah, as I said, if you're watching this, I've, I've been sneaky with the video order that I put out.